Depraved, by Harold Schechter is a chilling exploration of the dark recesses of the human psyche through the lens of historical true crime. This narrative non-fiction piece delves into the life and crimes of serial killer H. H. Holmes, whose heinous acts during the late 19th century shocked and horrified America. Schechter's meticulous research and engaging storytelling make Depraved not only a gripping true crime account but also a commentary on the sinister aspects of human nature and society's response to them. Schechter begins the narrative by immersing the reader in the turbulent times of the late 1800s, setting the stage for the emergence of a serial killer who would become a symbol of pure evil. This contextualization is crucial as it allows readers to understand the social and historical factors that may have contributed to Holmes's development as a murderer. Schechter paints a vivid picture of the rapidly changing American landscape, characterized by urbanization and the promise of progress. This juxtaposition of progress and depravity becomes a recurring theme throughout the book. The author's writing style is both engaging and immersive, drawing readers into the world of H. H. Holmes and the gruesome crimes he committed. Schechter combines historical facts with a narrative flair that keeps the reader hooked from start to finish. He skillfully reconstructs the scenes of Holmes's murders, providing gruesome details without sensationalism thus maintaining a fine balance between gripping storytelling and historical accuracy. One of the central themes of Depraved is the duality of human nature. Holmes, on the surface, presents himself as a charming and charismatic figure, adept at luring victims into his web of deception. Schechter portrays Holmes as a classic example of the Jekyll and Hyde archetype, a man who could seamlessly switch between his public persona and his depraved, murderous alter ego. This duality raises questions about the masks people wear and the darkness that can lurk beneath even the most charming exteriors. Schechter also explores the role of society in enabling and perpetuating the crimes of individuals like Holmes. He highlights how Holmes was able to exploit the anonymity of the bustling city, preying on vulnerable newcomers who were drawn to Chicago in search of a better life. The lack of social connections and the transient nature of the population made it easier for him to lure victims to their deaths. Additionally, Schechter examines the flaws in the criminal justice system of the time, which allowed Holmes to evade suspicion and capture for so long. This critique of society's complicity in enabling serial killers adds depth to the narrative. The author's portrayal of Holmes's trial and eventual capture is a gripping climax to the story. Schechter masterfully captures the tension in the courtroom, where Holmes's true nature is gradually unveiled, shocking both the jury and the public. This section of the book serves as a powerful reminder that even in the face of the most heinous crimes, justice can prevail. It also highlights the role of investigative journalism in exposing the truth and holding criminals accountable. Depraved is not just a retelling of gruesome murders, it is a reflection on the enduring fascination with true crime and the morbid curiosity that drives people to delve into the darkest corners of human behavior. Schechter acknowledges this curiosity without judgment, recognizing that the story of H. H. Holmes continues to captivate audiences to this day. In conclusion, Harold Schechter's Depraved is a masterful work of narrative non-fiction that skillfully combines historical research with storytelling. It invites readers to confront the unsettling duality of human nature and the societal factors that can enable depravity to flourish. By immersing us in the world of H. H. Holmes, Schechter challenges us to grapple with the darkest aspects of humanity and the enduring allure of true crime.